If you're from New York, you probably never rode or even heard of the Hudson Bergen Light Rail. Personally, I never rode it until I went to New Jersey to film what you're seeing right now. But the Hudson Bergen Light Rail, or HBLR, is one of the most unique forms of transport in the New York metro area, being one of just two light rail systems in Greater New York, with the other being the Newark City Subway. So how did it come to be? The first known proposal for a light rail in the area was in 1985 by New Jersey Governor Thomas Keene, who proposed a billion dollar project that would connect the various transit networks, such as the New Jersey Transit and the Port Authority Trans Hudson, or PATH, via bus and light rail to the underserved areas in Hudson County. Governor Keene referred to the area as one of the richest undeveloped areas of the world. However, it would take years of planning and studying in order to actually build Keene's idea of this connection. After about a decade and a half of nothing happening, New Jersey secured funding for the new light rail system in Hudson County. County. The light rail would be known as the Hudson Bergen Light Rail because it serves Hudson County. It doesn't serve Bergen County though, so I don't know what that's about. The project was planned to be opened in stages. The initial opening segment, which started construction in 1996 and opened in 2000, cost $2 billion and ran from 34th Street and Bayonne to Exchange Place, connecting Bayonne to the path, which goes into the World Trade Center in Manhattan. There is also a spur going to West Side Avenue on the Hackensack River. The opening was a major success, bringing considerable amounts of development and revitalization into the area, with former abandoned industrial areas becoming vibrant neighborhoods. With this success, the HBLR continued its expansion, first to Newport, another PATH station, and then Hoboken, an important rail link connecting the New Jersey Transit and PATH, all of this within two years. In 2002, after the completion of this first stage, the second stage began construction, costing another $1.2 billion, going further south into Bayonne, and further north to Tidnell Avenue near Union City. The second stage was completed in 2006. The last expansion of the system was in 2011 to 8th Street Station. As of 2021, construction is underway for the new Bayfront Station, past West Side Avenue. There are many proposed expansions, such as an expansion into Bergen County and an expansion into Staten Island, as well as a lot more. Needless to say, the HBLR is an incredibly important public transit link, with 51,000 people riding it every day, at least before quarantine. To put that into perspective, it is almost double the ridership of the Staten Island Railway just south. So, how does the HBLR actually work? There are three, four depending on how you count it, lines. Hoboken to Tunnel Avenue, Hoboken Terminal to 8th Street, and West Side Avenue to Tunnel Avenue. There is also the Bayon Flyer, which, despite its name, does not fly. It is an express service connecting the southern stations in Bayonne to the transit centers in Newport and Hoboken. All of these lines operate on the weekdays, but on weekends, the Hoboken to Tunnel Avenue line, and the Bayon Flyer does not run. Fares are about $2.25 and are bought similar to the select bus service in the city. You buy the ticket in the station and a person checks it, which I never experienced when I rode it. The actual infrastructure itself is mostly built at grade, with a small portion near Hoboken being elevated and only one underground station. Oh, and you know the underground station, uh, Bergen Line Avenue, it has this really cool artwork, and it has like these four statues that hang from the roof, and uh, its station wall is also like, like a dinosaur tail, which I think is a reference to the number of um, fossils found in the Palisades region, it's really cool. And that's pretty much uh, all I had to say about the, about the Hudson Bergen Light Rail, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you soon.